right, so guys, today I am, I'm pretty excited to be able to share with you a champion showcase for Gamoran and Wyther. And so here is, here's Gamoran. If perchance you are not familiar with who this champ is, he's a newer Shadowkin that is added into Raid Shadow Legends, and he's a bit unique. I'm gonna show you that. So with his A1, he does block active skills. His A2 is an AOE, has a chance of stealing a random buff from an enemy, and after stealing, applies a buff spread and placing it onto allies. His A3 is interesting and it's unique for the game. It's called Dread Invocation. He can target dead or living enemies and can do a block revive on them. So this, this is definitely unique on top of being able to ignore shields. And then we do have some true fears in here as well too. And his passive is called Soul Charge. The passive revives a random ally with 30% HP and turn meter each time an enemy is killed. So particularly with this, this is really making him unique in the game. And then of course we do you also have his buff spread as well. So what we're gonna do is we have a champion showcase from Braun, who happens to have Gamran and also Wyther. Both of these champs came out at the same time. So today we're going to showcase both of them. You guys can see them both. You can see how they run. I'm gonna show you their gear. And then you can decide for yourself on, you know, what you wanna do with them if you have them. All right, so here is Gamoran. And what you're going to see for a set is we actually do have an immunity set. So we have four pieces of immunity, and then we do have two pieces broken up. Now, the idea with him having immunity is, again, remember, he spreads a buff. So the immunity means he gets to spread immunity to the rest of your team, which is pretty neat, right? So this is what he ends up doing. Now, stats wise, this is how this guy is built. I mean, he right now he's at 200 speed, 297 accuracy. And again, he's not meant to be a damage dealer. He's not going to be doing damage. Now, I'm curious if he's booked. He actually is not booked, and here's the masteries we have on him. Now, while we're here, let's go take a look at Wyther. So today, we're also going to talk about Wyther the Crowns because she is also a brand new champ, and her and Gamoran were added to the game at the exact same time. So with Wyther, you're going to see that she does have two pieces of Immortal, she has two pieces of resilience, and then she also has two pieces of perception. Now with her abilities, for those that are not familiar with her, she's she's like a straight up healer, right? Soul's Impalement, she has an AOE, Leech, and also does continuous heal. So her A1 is an AOE, Leech, to continuous heal, which is really nice. A2 is called Feel No Pain. She does increase defense on allies and increases the duration of continuous heal and then instantly activates continuous heal buffs on allies as well. Yeah, pretty much like heals all the time with her is what, what happens with Wyther. Azure Redeemer removes all debuffs from allies and heals allies by 30% of champions max HP. Her passive is called Eternal Flame. Places a continuous heal buff on the ally with the lowest HP for a turn at the start of each turn. So again, she's she's got heals, like everything's heals. And then her auras increases ally resistance in all battles by 50. Now I'm thinking, yep, she's not booked. And then these are the masteries for her. Wyther right now is being used in Spider, Ice Golem, and Griffin Doom Tower 110 normal. That's where this champ in particular is being used right now. All right, starting off with Gamoran, we're gonna head into Ice Golem 20. And you're gonna see the team that we have built. And interesting enough, like we have Wyther in here too, so we'll be able to also see how she does. I love, she has the same animations. Wyther does the same spinning animations as Diabolist, as Akak. Seems like they have very, very similar, similar designs. All right. They're running through nicely. Now with Gamoran, it seems it would be interesting, like if you come across any of the teams that 
put up unkillable. You know, that could always be fun for him to grab as well, too. Who here is on the team? We have Rorik in the middle. Rorik, Duhok the Pierced, Ninja. We have Gamoran and Wyther. So again, you see, like, he's not really, he's not really there to do damage. But the block revives. It'll be fun, too. Yep, Gamoran. That's who we're checking out is Gamoran. All right. All right, Rorik is down. So the reason for the team is we have Rorik for control and turn meter, like we see there. Ninja is for control and then for the damage. Duhak does the decreased defense. Also decrease attack, which is really good here. Wyther, like you see, she's really good at heals and just keeping everybody healed, popping them up. And Gamoran, well, revivals and again, if we end up targeting like any block revives or anything on these guys too, which we haven't targeted them. But again, he does have that ability where he can block revive on dead ally or dead enemies, which is a new thing. He's the only one, I believe, that has that right now. And some of his skills seem kind of cool, too. I do like what they... Like, their animations. I like that. Yeah, and also keep in mind, guys, like, some of them aren't booked, so the cooldowns would go faster, too, if they were booked. Like, we did see both Gamoran and Wyther aren't booked, and they probably don't really need to be, I guess, but obviously they would go faster if they were. There you go. So in Ice Golem 20, we have Rorik in lead, increased ally speed in all battles by 19%, then we do have Ninja, Wyther, Duak the Pierced, and Gamoran. So we get to see, we get to see how they run together in Ice Golem 20. Again, turn meter manipulation, decrease defense, decrease attack. This is why we have some of these guys together in here. And to Bronze Point, like he had said too, is these guys aren't booked. Obviously the cooldowns would be faster too if they were booked. Yeah, well, we could probably do this time around if you guys wanna see is we can manual Gamoran a little bit in the against the boss so we can block revive on one of the dead minions there too. So you guys can see it. And then Wyther, like you see she's just great with heals. Like everything she has is heals related. All right, so let's let them work on clearing some of these guys. And then what we'll do is we'll do A3 block revive on one of the dead ones. Probably, probably that guy. All right, so we're back on Wyther. We are on a Zuhak. So we'll provoke a little bit. We are back on to Ninja. And Gamoran. So Gamoran, we do have... We got four turns on that. So we're going to let them go. Oh, watch him. We got four turns. Yeah, it's really cool. I see Chuck commenting how it looks like he's infecting the ground. They did a really good job with his animations. They really did. I think that was his second turn, right? That's three. So we should be up to his fourth. Hopefully it'll be off cooldown. Oh, one more, perfect. All right, so one more for him and then we will do the block revive so you guys can see it. 
She doesn't have any heels on any shoes on, but she's great with heels, but um <laughs> Poofing off, that was that was actually pretty good. That was actually pretty good, I'll give you that. That was actually pretty funny. <sighs> that was funny, that was funny. Very funny. Ah. Hope you guys are enjoying this. All right, that's up. So we're going to get it next time. There's no buffs. So we'll watch these guys. Hi, Petro. Yeah, we pulled a bunch of Legos today. Good stuff, huh? Okay. Trying to time him. There we go. All right. So then we have his block revive on living or dead. So you see that we block revived on this guy. And so he did not pop back up. But you guys see how that was, that was actually kind of cool is that he glowed kind of like red when we clicked on that. I don't know if you guys remember, but before he came into the game, like if you were in arena or something, it would kind of just have like the red marker on a dead champ, but it wouldn't do anything. You actually couldn't even do anything. And so now we saw what it actually looked like is having him on there when he did his A3, we're probably just gonna let them auto from here, is it was like glowing red, which was kind of cool too. Yeah, he does good damage as well too. And the thing is that he's not really a damage dealer either, he's support. But it was fun to see that. And so you see the block revive, he doesn't come back up. So that is that was unique because we did that on this minion when he was dead, which was pretty cool. Okay, there's that. And we saw how good they both did together. Wyther, like she's just, she's, she's really up there as far as heals. She's fantastic. All right, we're gonna show off Wyther and Spider. So we're gonna go to Spider 20. And here's the team that we have in Spider 20. So it looks like we have Maneater in lead for the HP, ally HP in dungeons. Here's Wyther, Miscreated Monster, Coldheart, and Geomancer. Okay, so for this, the idea was to pretty much just showcase Wyther's cleanse and her heals. Which is why this team... So Braun actually does have Cecilia, has some other champs as well too. But this team was more so kind of show off Wyther. Maneater for the decrease attacks, which is great too. And then we get to see her cleansing and healing. Miss Crate and Monster in there for some CC with the stuns. Also providing some shields. And you always gotta love the the fears. For attacking champs that miscreated monsters protecting. So by no means is this a fast run, you know what I mean? Like I don't think anybody would consider this a fast run, but it is fun to see where Wyther has some uses. Carl, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. We have Geomancer and Cold hard in here to do some turn meter control as well. And Geomancer's passive is doing a good job. And again, so far, again, does not look like they're in trouble at all. Because Wyther, just between like Wyther and Miscreated Monster as well. And then Geo just doing his thing. And of course, every now and then we'll have Maneater tossing in the unkillables too. So it will be a longer run than if we do just something like a burn team or something like a traditional burn team or such. All right. So more than halfway through. Look at all those fears. Look at all those fears. All right, good job. Cold heart with the heart seeker.
This has been really fun to see too. Overall, like we can see how good Wyther does with her heals and cleansing, that she seems like she could be very useful for some progression too. And that's what Braun has noticed. I wanted to point out is that he noticed he was good for her for progression. All right. And there's the clear. There is the clear. So look at that too. I know this isn't a Geomancer showcase, but look at Geo. 5.4 mil on Geo. 2.4 on Coldheart. But there we go with Wyther showing her off in Spider and how useful she could be in there for cleansing and also for some heals. All right, and so now we're gonna head into Doom Tower. It's gonna be Griffin 110 normal. The team that we have here is we have Wyther in lead. Ally resist in all battles by 50. We have Leo again. We have Rosin, Duhak, and then we have Geomancer. So this is the team that we have in here for Griffin. So let's go. Let's let him go. How's Saruman? Are you talking about uh, Gamoran? Gamoran was pretty good. We ran Gamoran and Wyther and Ice Golem. So that'll be there as well too. All right, so again, we know with, we know with Griffin, we have to be able to keep the champ's HP up as well too. Otherwise the Griffin starts to get some stacks and we do not like that. This is going to be Doom Tower 110, Griffin Hard. Nice, and so Braun is saying she's keeping the team alive, but per chance they die, she can solo the Griffin. It's interesting, huh? Okay. Very nice. Only six stacks, so again, there's no problems here. Have we tried her at all in hard? Against Griffin on hard? I'm curious how she does there. But she looks like she just has so much sustain. I love that. And that's, I really love like one of those abilities too. And it's just like the light from heaven. I think that's great when it does the cleanses and the heals. Okay, so we haven't tested her out in Doom Tower hard yet. This is Doom Tower normal, which is fine. There's still a lot of people there too. But there we go. So she did really well with this team as also a healer and a cleanse. Yeah, there's a good chance she'll probably be fine in hard as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Do you have either Gamoran or Wyther? What do you guys think of them? Hey, if you enjoyed this video, check out some more videos up here in the playlist on the top right.